I think the biggest problem currently in uh, Season of Discovery is actually Mage class, okay? Because it almost feels like they designed Mage class for for gold farmers and real world trading, right? He just healed. I mean, Mage was always a class for AoE, but why did they have to add heal, uh, self heal on AoE spells, right? What? Damn, I guess some things don't change in Classic well. This is something I want to discuss now, right? You know, people all say, wow, they forbid GDKP, right? Now, th that's a major step ag ag against gold buyers and such. And it is probably true, but forbidding GDKP won't solve botting. And it won't solve Mage Class. Mage Class is probably the biggest reason why Season of Discovery is so broken. They can literally AoE farm 20 mobs at once. So how can you tell me that Mage Class was literally not designed for gold buyers and real world trading? Right? I mean, if Blizzard cares so much about GDKP and boating, why do we have Mage Class with such abilities in the game? And Blizzard already know that AoE farming on Mage's dungeons was a problem. So why did they implement uh, self-heal abilities for Mage? Right, the, the more damage they do, the more they heal. It literally breaks the whole game. Right? You know, I think it's almost funny because currently mages are actually better tank than any other ta tank out there. And I think this is actually a huge problem currently because a lot of tanks have huge problems holding aggro, right? Swipe for dru druid's tanks deals like zero damage. And if you missed your first swipe, you are basically screwed because there is no way for you to get uh, aggro back, right? Warrior standard clap also costs way too much rage and it doesn't deal any damage. And, you know, it's not really enough to hold threat. Um, Shamans, you know, shamans have a lot of aggro, but they are not really doing a lot of damage and uh, debuffing a lot, you know, it feels like, I mean, <laughs> maybe it's just major that is overtuned, right? And it almost pisses me off currently, you know, they always say, wow, we don't like gold buying, we don't like GDKP, right? And now you have whole brigades of people going after them. Meanwhile, they literally design mage class for gold buyers and real world trading, right? It's insane, right? So mages can tank 20 mobs at once, right? Better than any tank out there. And they then they just get add-on with AI that automatically outbeats anybody on the action house, right? So as long as Mage is designed in such a way, uh, Mage was already a problem before, so why did they add a self-heal on AoE? It's, in it's insane, you know? They say we want to make a Mage cla healing class, but they just make a, a more broken version of a g for gold, of gold farmers. Literally. <laughs> right? I mean, come on, something needs to be fixed here. So how can you tell me not? You see, I play warrior, I can tank 2-3 mobs at once, and even if I don't tank anything, I still uh, I, do, I do zero damage, right, because you get no range. But then you have mages who can tank 10-20 mobs at once, right, they have crowd control, they have sustain, they can literally face tank 20 mobs at once, right? So how... It, and then, on top of that, they also use uh, add-ons with AI, right? So they outbeat anybody on the auction house. So they farm 20 mobs at once, they outbeat everybody on the auction house. Mage class is literally breaking the game. And so why is Blizzard not talking about it, right? If they care so much about boating and GDKP, why are they not doing anything? They should really remove that ability from Mage. Uh, that gives them self heal every time they use AOE. But uh, that's what? insane. Only gold buyers will design class like that. It's a mage, you could literally implement like thousand different abilities, fun abilities, actual uh, mobility abilities, but no. Okay, let's continue now with Warrior Run Tower, okay? Um, I'm actually just making my Warrior video here. Um, yeah, but you know, I really feel like. I really feel like uh, Warrior is very underappreciated class because you have one of the strongest debuffs in the whole game. You have improved demoralizing shot which reduces enemy power. 
which is huge for any PvE tanking. You have improved Tinder Club with the new rune, uh, you reduce enemy attack speed by like 16-17%, which is actually really huge. This is why Hurricane is one of the strongest abilities in the game actually. And now they implemented rune that would make uh, Hurricane some has no cooldown, no cost, right? This is another thing that will totally break um, Vow Classic. Let me t let me show you something. Vow Classic spells Hurricane. This is probably the most underrated spell in the game. It has similar effect like a warrior. Increase the time between enemy attacks by 25%. People have no idea how overpowered. This is probably the strongest debuff in the whole game. If you use this in dungeons against mobs, or even if you just use this against bosses. It literally makes any boss, in, uh, any PV encounter easy because it almost doubles uh, the, you know, you know, most damage comes from their basic attacks, right? And it almost, uh, you know, makes their double, makes their attacks um, two times less common, even though it's only twenty five percent. But this is actually really huge, okay? And now druids will be able to spam this with no cooldown, with no mana cost. So this is another thing that will totally break the game, um, but hey. <laughs> and yeah, you can use it in Moonkin form, of course. It's gonna be insane, but of course, it doesn't do the most damage. People that only look at parses have no idea how to play this game, because debuffing buffs are even more utility, uh, reaction speed, right? Adopting is even more important than uh, anything that parses will ever show. Um, so let's return back to my warrior, okay? Also, let's not forget, warriors also also have armor shred and they have AoE slows, right? They have slows, they have Sander armor, which is actually really good to buff any f uh, rogue, any other warrior, any physical damage dealer, uh, hunters. Um, Also, I just wish we would actually get some good fun abilities. Now we're just getting some proc abilities. Guys, give us Bladestorm, give us Shockwave, so protection would be actually fun. I think current problem is a lot of these tank uh, tank uh, specs are not really that viable. You see, Thunderclap doesn't do enough damage and it costs way too much rage. Uh, I have seen same complaints about Feral tanking, you know. Um, We really need some fun abilities to press, like Shockwave. If we would only get Shockwave for, for Protection Warrior, then you have Double Stun, you have Concept Blow and Shockwave, then it, it's fun to play. But I don't really want Spec Protection, you know, even though it's quite okay, especially for PvE, but man. Also, yeah, if you want to get Flu Fury, you won't be able to get, I think, Sweeping Strikes. You know, it's, this ve it's very limiting talents, you know. I heard somebody suggest maybe adding one more talent point, which would be actually really huge. You could do so much more builds then. When I was playing WoW Classic, uh, that was also one of my issues. You see, I had very good build. I have very good build. I think I went something like, um, I use Feral, uh, no, yeah, I use Feral Aggression because this is uh, Demoralizing Roar. This is same as Warrior, improved Demoralizing, okay? So I use this for AO tanking, five. And I also went to charge, uh, so you can pick like this and get charge, okay? So I got, uh, so my point, my thing was basically I can um, charge in with bear form with more HP, then I go into monkey form, right? I go into monkey form, I use bark for no pushback, and then I can use hurricane, right? This was a AOE boomkin, it was so fun. But the problem is that you can't really uh, do many things. Because lack of talent points, for example, if you go this, let's see. So, if you do something like this, five, bam, and then you have 20 points left. You see? Uh, then you cannot take nature swiftness. You are one point off if you go feral. And this is the problem. I mean, this would make many classes so much more fun. Uh, let's also talk about warrior <laughs> a bit more. I mean, I think a warrior really needs a good gear, right? I just did a shadow fan keep and got two good rings, man. I'm so hyped. Uh, big upgrades, you know. Uh, if playing warrior feels very good, and you don't really need that much macros, but at the same time, 
everybody, uh, I know I was, <laughs> I literally did Shadow Fang Keep as a level 20 warrior when you need to be at least 20, 20 or 20, uh, 23. But bro, everybody out threats me, mages, ferals, shamans, it really sucks, you know? I mean, yeah, we have some good HP, but now everybody's gonna get HP, right? I mean, this uh, Sander would be good. This is single target stun, it's boring. I want Shockwave, man. I mean, yeah, Shield Slam. I already played this, you know? It's like, can you give us something fun, you know? Just like a uh, Priest or Mages have no, no mobility, right? This is what I miss for Mage, uh... You know, that fiery shoes, when you get hit, you get uh, slow immunity and bonus movement speed from Vrat. That was really fun for mages. But I think Warrior is really under, uh, underappreciated because they have really strong debuffs. Armor shred, uh, power reduction, attack speed reduction, AoE slows, you know. Um, and this is actually really good. Mm. But at the end of the day, that won't really be good in PvP. I mean, you have this proc bleed build. You can still get slowed, you have no slow immunity on Warrior. Uh, you have one trinket and that's pretty much it. So, and meanwhile rogues have seven form of CC, right? Why do rogues have seven form of CC? And again, it's only one viable build, it's only preparation. You're only gonna run one build and this is the problem with Vogue Classic Design, you know? You only have one viable build. And why they don't add shamans more fun abilities to use, you see? Now we just have fucking uh, storm strike and one more. You have two buttons to press. We desperately need more buttons to press if you might want to make enchantment. Good. They actually give slow immunity to, uh, I think, uh, shamans, which is really good. I mean, but what about warrior, man? <clears throat> I mean, warrior's only gonna be good with pocket healer, which kind of sucks. Even though I actually saw some new runes, you get 30% regeneration. That's gonna be very fun. Um, bonus HP, bonus regeneration, that's really good, you know. But still, man, it's like, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see.